Cassandra, and this is Kim, and welcome to Central Kids TV. <laughs> and this month we are focusing on commitment, making a plan and putting it into practice. And Kim, um, what are you doing? I'm training. Okay. And, um, Aunt? I'm working on my reaction time. Reaction time? I'm confused. Yeah, my reaction need to be really fast, very quick. Uh -huh. I have a much easier way to work on reaction time, Kim. I can't. I'm just <laughs> too tired now. <laughs> we can do it right here, I promise. Really? All we need is, oh, just one of these, see? A ruler? Yeah, you ready? Okay. This I'm, is really cool. I'm, all right, I'm listening. Yeah, you guys can do this at home too. It's really fun. Okay, so we have to hold it with the upper numbers up here, right? Because okay. it has all the numbers on all it. All right. And you go down here. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to be talking to you and trying to distract you, and you're going to try to catch it, and that shows your reaction time. And your reaction I time is nine inches. I actually caught it. You caught it. That oh. was really good. Good job, Kim. That was a bad let's, reaction Let's try it again. Time. Let's try it again. Okay. okay. You ready? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to sit here and talk. I'm going to be trying to distract you, and then... Oh. So much better. <laughs> well, that was a great job, Kim. I love that. Okay, this is much better way to, it was much easier yeah. to improve my reaction yeah. time. Yeah, we improve our reaction time by strengthening the connection between our body and our brain. Through training. Mm -hmm. Yep, plus it's important to get enough sleep and drink plenty of water. Those also improve your brain's reaction time. God made our brains to connect mm -hmm. in an amazing way. And we are made to connect with God too. It's time for the story before the story. The story before the story. Today, we're in the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of the four gospels that tell about the life of Jesus. For three years, Jesus traveled from town to town, sharing about God's kingdom and healing people. Near the beginning of this time, Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down to teach his followers. The things that Jesus taught there have come to be known as the Sermon on the Mount. More and more people gathered as Jesus explained what it means to be part of God's kingdom and what it means to show love to God and to others. For example, one of the best ways that we can show love to God is to talk with God in prayer. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. The Sermon on the Mount marked a key moment in Jesus' ministry. Mm -hmm. It laid out the very most important things for his followers. Jesus began by talking about who and what is valued in God's kingdom. And it's upside down from what is most important in most kingdoms. Blessed are those who are spiritually needy. Kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Did you hear all that? Jesus said the people who are most blessed are actually those who are humble and admit that they need help. He went on to include people who were sad, who make peace, and who show mercy. Jesus went on to explain how we should treat each other in God's kingdom. With kindness. With compassion. And don't forget integrity. But he said we should never do it for show. Be careful not to do good deeds in front of other people. Don't do those deeds to be seen by others. God's kingdom is never about looking better and more perfect than someone else. Mm -hmm. That even goes for the way we talk to God. When you pray, do not be like those who only pretend to be holy. They love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners. They want to be seen. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father. You can't be seen. Now that doesn't mean you can only talk to God in your room, but it does mean that prayer should never just be for show. Yeah, it's a real conversation with God, God who made the entire universe. Jesus gave his followers a kind of outline to use in talking to God. Ah, uh, yes, the Lord's Prayer, which can be found in the book of Matthew. It goes like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. 
May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. This beautiful prayer has been spoken by believers all over the world for nearly 2,000 years. Wow, 2,000 years, that's amazing. You could read it from the Bible as a prayer to God, or you could memorize it and say it to God as a prayer anytime. But you don't have to only use those exact words. Absolutely, it's given us an example of how to pray. You can use your own words anytime. All right, uh -huh. so let's break the Lord's Prayer down, okay? The first verse reads, Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. By calling on God as Father, we show our trust in God to take care of us. Yeah, and we want everyone all around the world to know that God loves them more deeply than they can even imagine. Next, it reads, May your kingdom come, may what you want to happen be done on earth as it is in heaven. We know that one day God will make everything right, but we also know that God is at work here and now. We can invite God to make things right and offer ourselves to be a part of that process. Next, it says, give us today our daily bread. We can ask God for anything we need each day. Mm -hmm. That includes our food, of course, but we also need things like wisdom and patience and joy as we go throughout each day. And forgive us our sins just as we also forgive those who sin against us. Yeah, none of us are perfect. We mess up every day. But God invited us to ask for forgiveness, to clean the slate. This helps us stay close to God and makes us able to forgive and stay close mm -hmm. to others. Yes, and last it reads, keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. Sin is anything that breaks our relationship with God. Yeah, anytime we make a mistake or hurt someone else's feelings, we can ask God for help to make choices that show love to God and others, even in tough situations. Your version of this prayer can fit the unique way that God made you. Let's all pray right now. Oh, I love that idea. We have some time. Okay. okay. Um, everyone, we're going to pray together. So you can pray with your eyes open or with your eyes closed, but the key is to focus on talking to God. And Kim, will you pray for all of us? Like out oh, loud? Yes. I would love to pray for all okay, of us. Great, great, okay, great. Great, great. All right, here we go, everyone. All right, here we go. Focus on God. God, we just thank you so much for today. Father God, I just thank you for all the kids that are here and watching this video and learning about Jesus and how to love and to be kind to other people and really learning how to pray and talk to you. God, just help us to really want to talk to you each and every day, to really spend time with you and just say what's on our hearts. God, thank you for our friends. Thank you for Jesus. And it's in your son's name that we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that prayer, Kim. Whether you take time in a quiet moment to pray this whole prayer or quickly cry out to God for help in a tough situation, God promises to hear every word and to be with you through all of it. You can pray by yourself. Can you do it in the bathroom? Yes. In the bathroom, mm -hmm. in your bedroom, with a group of friends. Yeah, or, or here at church. Yes, or mm -hmm. church. Yeah. I just love to think of all the people over 2,000 years who have said that prayer. And we can all grow in our faith when we practice talking to God. We can follow the outline of the Lord's Prayer, but you can also just tell God what's in your heart. Or what you need in that moment. And you can talk to God anytime, anywhere. Like when you wake up in the morning. Oh yeah, or when you're about to, you know, take a walk to, into school, yeah. At meal time. At bedtime. Oh no, oh, sorry. <laughs> no. And you can thank God for all the good things in your life, mm -hmm. even the small ones, like a cozy bed or a smile from a friend. Yes, and you can talk to God when you're worried. God promises to be with you when you're anxious or scared or sad. Talking to God in those moments is a great way to remember that you are never alone. And God is always excited to hear from you. Our big idea today is practice praying to God. And the more you practice connecting with God, 
The more prayer becomes your automatic response in any tough situation. Great catch, Kim. I love it. Uh, thanks for joining us today, guys. Bye. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next, next time on Central Kids TV. Kim, I love your t-shirt. You ready for camp? Yep, camp. Summer camp. camp. Sign up Woo! for camp. Woo! <laughs>